When you see all the new and interesting plants online, it's common to want to try them all. And I encourage you to do so. Experiment around, see what works and what doesn't for you. However, for new gardeners, this can lead to taking on plants that are too challenging, resulting in them giving up. Now, I could give you a list of the plants that would be common to grow, such as tomatoes, those cucumbers, leafy greens, such as this lettuce or kale. But really, without knowing what variety you know, does well in your area, it really wouldn't help much. One of the first things you can do is look up your, your first and last frost dates. This will give you an idea of the average range length of time you have you know, for your growing season. And keep in mind, this is an average, so it can vary those dates. Another thing you can do is, is look up your average temperatures during your growing season and pick plants that, that grow well within those, those ranges. For example, for me, when I'm, when I'm looking for plants, since I'll usually use the search term heat tolerant since I'm here in Florida. One of the key secrets to having a successful garden is picking plants that grow well in your area. Some plants will do well in one place and not do well in another. For example, little sweet potatoes here you know, grow like a weed eat for me, whereas it's further up north you know, they'd be struggling. If you can, try and find local growers. The plants they sell will likely be more adapted you know, to your area. Try to select three or four varieties you think might do well well in your area, and grow well all of them. And then pick, pick the ones that do best for you, and grow those next year. Do keep in mind to slow down and observe of the growth. Take note of any anomaly, such as weather or soil conditions that you may have. And if things still don't work, don't give up.